It's right down there. Jimmy boy, here we are, the hole. The place where this school separates the men from the boys, the wheat from the chaff and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people, keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You wanna run this school, I wanna run this school. Only one of us is gonna make it. And it's gonna be me! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you Russell! Oh, man. Me, Russell! Gary, now I hate you. I know, Russell. Go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard uh, animals. What? Come here. Russell wants vengeance. You happy now, jerk? Ecstatic! I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No. I'm taking over this school. And you're just a liability. See you around, moron! Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. You all right, Russell? Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, OK. Sorry. Bad Russell. With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath.
Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir, I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals? No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. Hey, new kid. You're that guy that beat up Russell. So, what's it to you? Hey, listen, we like to box, the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Oh. Okay. You and me, Biff. You and me what? You and me, the noble art of boxing. May the best man win. And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all about. Anytime, Popper. Of course, the best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards, you can clean my shoes. Number one, I killed the best. 
I will beat the rest! Yeah. What have we got wrong. here? That That's poor right. kid just beat yeah. up Biff. He's our new it, champion. He? What? He is That's the right. new champion. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. Woo! You disgust me. <clears throat> it takes more than victory to become a champion. It takes breeding and nepotism and snobbery. You filthy Democrat. Gentlemen, are we going to let some gutter snipe come in and beat up our friend Biff? No! Then what are we going to do? Beat him back to the ghetto! Yeah! 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 You guys soften him up. I'll get a drink. Get the... Idiot. the assets I have, and you don't. Friends. Just shut up, Darby. Here's some more tactics for you, poor boy. It's true. Poor people. You can run, but I can hire people to hunt you down. Just run away. <laughs> My dad. He's going to ah! I can't believe it. to give you a thrashing the old-fashioned way. I know Jiu-Jitsu, punk. Out of my way. Oh, my family jewels and my lineage destroyed. can't hear you, rich kids. Who's uh, the boss now, my waspy little friend? Uh, Answer the question. You are... Louder! You are... Uh, That's right. Me. Now you girls, learn to play nice. You understand? Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson? They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. 
They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he could help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. Boys, good work. I got him where I need him. Watch out, Jimmy. Let me clean that spot on your face. Hey, come close. One more down. Watch out, Jimmy! Daddy, got it? I'm in charge, you do what I say. All right, I give up. You can have her. Who? What are you talking about, Johnny? Lola, you win. She's yours. This has nothing to do with her, man. I don't care. You can keep that slut for yourself. What? You don't want her? Then why did you do this? Why'd you fight? Just to prove you're tougher than me? That's right. And don't you or your boys forget it. I'm tougher than you, so maybe now you'll stop bullying everyone. You work for me now. Oh, man. I'm starting to feel pretty good about myself. I've just taken control of two of the school's worst cliques, but I know there are bigger problems just around the corner. Problems with overdeveloped pituitary glands and brains the size of peas. The thing is, Pete, now that I'm cool, I'm not sure we can be friends anymore. What? I'm messing with you. <sighs> Real funny, Jimmy. Well, when you're done with this place, a career on the stage awaits. Maybe, maybe like a male stripper or something, huh? What? Uh, <clears throat> so, um, what about Gary? I haven't seen him, but whenever I hear somebody say I used to be a girl and had a sex change, or that my mother slept with Crabble Snitch to get me in here, I think to myself, Gary. Gary! What a jerk! You don't even call me a dork. Well, I guess he's not always wrong. Is that what you really think? <sighs> Whatever, Jimmy. You know, I stand up for you, and you still think I'm a dork. You're a jerk. And you're a dork, so we're equal. Whatever. I'm leaving. Ow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now maybe oh. next time you'll watch where you're going. What'd you do that for? Oh, I'm sorry, Psycho. Did oh. I hit your boyfriend? Yes, yeah, Psycho. You gonna try to kick our asses now? No, I think I'll do that more publicly. Ooh, I'm really scared right now. Really Ooh. scared. I take down oh. linebackers every oh. day, pal. <laughs> Whatever, pretty boy. You'll get yours. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. 
Go have some fun in the communal showers. Ooh, I just dropped my soap. Please pick it up for me. Losers. Petey, get up. Jimmy, Jimmy, I think we found some new people to have some fun with. Ernest, what are you doing? Give it up, dork. You work for me now. You're pathetic. You've defeated my weakest compadres. You've just met your match. I want us to be friends. I need your help. I've had friends like you. The kind who treat you like dog muck on their shoes. No thanks, bud. Come on. It's my brains against your brawn. Welcome to hell, Jimmy Hopkins. You guys treat us nerds like dirt. One day you'll regret it. Can you even spell Potato Jimmy? Maybe now he'll listen to me. Here, here, just take it. You're just like everyone else, picking on the little man. I'm not like everyone else, <laughs> honestly. Now listen, we both want the same thing, to teach those jocks a lesson. From now on, we're buddies. You have a funny way of showing friendship. We're friends, we work together. Who is that Kim? Yeah, who is that Kim? Oh, it's that little Squirt Hopkins. Yeah, that Squirt Hopkins. You're dead, Hopkins. Yeah, dead, Hopkins. Why don't you stop repeating everything he says and get on with it? I'm gonna bust your gut up and I'm gonna lay wood on you.
powder truck! You baby! You're going down! Right, losers! Oh, yeah! <coughs> oh, Jimmy, you did it! You did it! I'm king of the school! Oh, you beat them all in front of everybody! Thanks for your help, Petey. Oh, this is gonna be great! So here I am, suddenly the king of the school. I never meant for things to turn out this way. I just wanted to control a couple of psycho kids and be left alone. But now I guess I'm certainly going to live the good life. Hey, Darby! Hey, Johnny. Hi, Yo, Jimmy. what's up, brother? Hey, Jack. So I'm like, yo, it's Jimmy! You're so funny, Jimmy. Oh, hey, girl, you're looking great. Ooh. Great. Thank you for that show, <laughs> Darby. Oh, wow, hey, Jimmy! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boys, that's all I got to say. Later. So, Bye, Jimmy. Jimmy. See you later. I love that guy. Bye, guys. Wait up. Pete! Hey, Jimmy, what's going on? Everything. I did it, man. I took over this dump. These morons are my morons That's now. great. Just don't turn into a jerk. How could I? I? Hey, baby. How you doing? What you doing later? Just remember, Jimmy, not everybody likes you. Correct. They love me. Well, what about Gary? Gary? Forget about that twerp. Dude, it's me now. I run this place, and you're my friend, so please try to be cool. Oh, man, you're bringing me down. Come on, let's go milk this thing for all it's worth. We might even find you a girl. Smart, huh? This ought to do the job. Using tools. You're a clever monkey, aren't you? You're gonna die. Stop wasting time. This is good. <laughs> Bitch!
cry. You had enough? You want some more? Come on, big guy. You still think messing with me is a good idea? No, no, no. Good. That's what I thought. Now, what made you think it was a good idea in the first place? Aw, oh, man. I hate that school. My parents couldn't afford to send me there, and now I'm stuck in this dump of a town. Gary said we'd make them all pay. Wait a second. Gary? That backstabbing, two-faced sociopath put you up to this? Ah, I bet he said the two of you would take over the school or some crap. Hey, how'd you know? Because he told me the same garbage. Didn't do me any good either. Come on. You're gonna help me make him pay for his lies. Gary! Moron! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I've won your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet, only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this! Careful, don't hurt yourself. If you prove to be one thing this year, it's slow. You'll never catch me, Hopkins. You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. Poor little Jimmy. All alone and big, scary Bullworth, under fire from Russell and his goons, desperate for help. So sad, so hopeless, just needing a friend, any friend. You were so easy to manipulate, Jimmy. Once we were friends, it was all so clear. You had your lust for power, but without intelligence to back it up, using you as a pawn was so wonderfully obvious. Let Jimmy have his fun. Let him play his childish little games with Ernest, Ted, Darby, Johnny, and Edgar, and just wait for the right moment to swoop in. It all felt together so perfectly. While you were playing at the carnival like a child, my plan was... The thing is, if I win, you're just another punk! You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I never did anything to you! You would've if I'd given you the chance! Face it, I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> You're smarter than me! You hate everyone, and everyone hates you! Genius! The head likes me! I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled, unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> no! What are you doing?
Smith! I heard the whole thing. You're expelled. Come and untie me, boy. Yes, sir. <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <laughs> what a hero. A lone wolf. Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rots in hell. And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, well, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? Finally, everything is sorted out, more or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier. Mm. Mm.